the one who did put him in handcuffs is Officer Danny Torres, a 27-year veteran on the force. He currently is on administrative duty while the department investigates the incident. And while Torres's fate remains up in the air, his brother is speaking out about his sibling's defense, telling the Daily Mail that his brother, Officer Torres, is an excellent cop and is placing the blame solely on Hill for the chaotic situation that occurred. Here now, entertainment lawyer Trey Lovell to talk more about the case. Uh, Trey, thanks for being here. Um, legally speaking, what do you think may be the next steps here? Well, they're going to go through an investigation, an internal investigation, go over exactly what had happened and see if there's any type of discipline that should be imposed. Um, I, you know, I don't think any of this is actionable as a civil action. It didn't rise to that level. I'd be surprised if it even kind of rose to, to any discipline. But the police department is going to do their job. They're going to take it seriously. Um, they're going to, to review the footage. They're going to have interviews with the officers. They're going to go over everything just to make sure and determine whether or not this officer acted within the, the custom and practice of, 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 of policing and, and acted accordingly. I mean, as, as far as evidence goes, we've got almost two hours of video going step by step. And so far, the police department is saying the officers follow protocol. How important will this video evidence be in understanding the gravity of the situation and if any wrong was done? It's crucial because, you know, we actually have eyes on what happened and not just, you know, uh, firsthand uh, statements from people that may have observed it. You know, um, what people need to understand is police have wide latitude uh, when making an arrest uh, or, or rather when detaining somebody uh, and putting somebody in handcuffs. Um, and one of those parameters and, 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 and determinations is, is their safety, safety of others, and whether or not somebody's being cooperative. Um, and so it's really going to to go down to whether or not they were, they were excessive uh, in what they did or whether or not they were entitled to or whether they fell within the parameters of what may have been excessive but was still justified. So that's really where, where the legal side is going to hinge on. And in your mind, does that begin with the moment that Tyreek admits he should have rolled his window down and been more cooperative at the start, at the beginning? He doesn't, and you see the officers knocking on the window. Yeah, so it's going to start first, was it a valid stop? And it, it seems that it was. There seems to be no issue. He was speeding. He didn't have a seatbelt on. So they certainly were justified in, in having him stop. You know, the second was, did, did they give him enough time to comply? Um, did they give him every opportunity to, to, to follow their instructions and do what they're going to do? And here, it, it certainly does seem that that happened. I mean, I mean, he was not cooperative. I, you know, he said, don't bang on my window. Don't tell me what to do. He kept his window up. And what people need to realize, one of the, mo the most dangerous threats to an officer at a stop is a tinted window. You know, you don't know what's going on inside. Somebody could have a gun. Somebody could be preparing to flee. So, so that immediately created an issue for the police, and they needed to take control of it. And so the, the, the issues are going to be whether or not, you know, he was given enough time to comply, and then the response of, of the police officers. Um, and, you know, there, there, there are guidelines, you know, to, to determine that. Uh, Trey Lovell, this is an interesting case, one to watch. We've got a lot of evidence, uh, video evidence to sift through. Appreciate your time this morning on it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.